I was going to start my coding journey today as if I've never coded in my entire life, here's what I would do. Welcome back, y'all. In this video, I'm going to take you through a little bit of context of who I am when it comes to developing and then give you perspective of what you should do if you've never coded before or you're interested in coding, you're interested in developing software, everything like that. This is not going to be a fancy video. There's not going to be like a random B-roll, two people shaking hands or fancy music or fancy pop. If you know me and you know my channel, I don't do that. Why? Because you don't need that. So here's the thing. I've been coding since I was 12, maybe 11, 12, 13. I don't remember the specifics. Point being, I coded when I was younger. I was coding iOS apps and I was doing you know fun little projects. When I was coding then, the way you would get information and learn how to code as I was self-taught was very much Stack Overflow YouTube videos and just going at it, working at it. If you've been coding before AI, you know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to Stack Overflow rabbit holes and just finding your answers through different forms. But now we're in a different age of coding, or at least how we approach coding now. Coding of AI is non-negotiable now. This isn't like a fad where 10 years from now, it was like, oh, you guys remember we used to code of AI, especially with the recent news of the O3 model that dropped. This is a new thing. Therefore, the way you approach coding is very much different than how you would have approached it when I was coding at 11 or 12. Because now when coding, you're taking more of a logic position relative to just coding out entire files by hand like it used to be. When I say logic, I'm referencing the ability to know how to structure the architecture in software rather than knowing the nitty gritty in the sense of every single line that needs to be coded to do X, Y, Z thing within the platform. So to circle this back, if I was starting at absolutely ground zero, I'm using an IDE integrated development environment that has no connection to artificial intelligence. It is siloed off. It's purely just an IDE, e.g. VS Code. From there, I'm going to use an AI model to help me learn, produce code, and proceed. Which AI model? Your discretion. I've seen a lot of people say, Corbin, why don't you like Claude? Okay, first off, I never, <laughs> I never, I don't have anything against Claude, okay? I have nothing against Anthropic either. I just like ChatGPT better. This is personal preference. A lot of people want my opinion on, well, I see that you use ChatGPT a lot, Corbin, but I really like Claude or I really like Gemini. Like, okay, use what you want to use. Personally, I have had better outputs with ChatGPT, but maybe that's because personally, the type of application and software I'm developing is very React heavy, very much backend heavy with Firebase. So that is up to discretion on which model you want to choose. Who knows, maybe Claude is amazing and has way better outputs when it comes to video game development. So knowing this, your next question might be is, okay, I get it. I see what I need to do now, but like, how does this all connect? Like what's gonna be in the basket of actually creating something? I'm gonna leave a video in the description down below. Check it out. I'm on a whiteboard. I draw it all out, every single tool you need, everything about the board. As you can see, the way I'm having this video today, that's not the purpose of this video. I'm not gonna go on a whiteboard and draw out what you need to build out software. I'm gonna give you perspective here. So now that you know how I would start at ground zero again, because of our way of handling AI now, let me tell you how it is. Don't start developing in this new age if this is not your passion. Is there a lot of money to be made in this new market that's emerging with artificial intelligence, software, everything like this? Yes, but don't do this route and path in life if you're only doing it for the money. Because what's going to create really good software engineers in this new revolution and new age are people that actually care what they're doing and like see it more of like an art piece and it allows them to basically flow their creative juices when drawing that painting or painting that painting, translating over to coding out that front end, dealing with that pipeline in the back end. If you are doing this for the money, don't. There are way better ways to make money a lot faster than learning how to code from ground zero. Like, if I had to give you a suggestion, if you're doing this purely for the money, learn how to trade equities and stocks and options and everything of that realm. You can make a lot more money a lot faster when understanding how to leverage the stock market. But if you're doing this because you actually care about this, and obviously the money will come if it's correct, you're on the right path here. And this path I just described here is new. I mean, if you look at any of the coding videos I do in this channel, any tutorial, when I built out the entire playlist for the front end, or I built out the entire playlist on how to build a back end with AI, I challenge you to find any coding tutorial that is similar to that three years ago. It doesn't exist. Because the way I teach coding is not like, let's type it out line by line. No, no, no. The new way of coding is logic. And I've shown that. So I implore you, 
if this is actually a true interest of yours, take the journey. This is 100% not a get rich thing here. Realistically, if your passion actually takes you down this route, you'll make good money within three years. First two years, I highly doubt you'll make anything. So don't do this if you think that going this route in six months, you're going to make 20K, 30K a month just through coding. Now, obviously you would if you're going the more traditional route in the sense of getting a job and aligning in that way. But I'm talking about the route of in the sense of you are starting from ground zero and you want to learn how to code to develop a software that makes money. Yeah. Let me break the ice here as every other YouTuber is going to basically fill you with hopes and dreams. It's going to be brutal. But what I can tell you is that if you actually enjoy the art craft of coding, as it is an art craft, it's not that deep. The software I'm creating, Bump Ups, the first year was just complete learning curve, complete leaning in. No money was really made. Yeah, we made some money here and there, but I can tell you in the latter half, in the last four or five months, we've seen a substantial increase in the amount of income we're receiving from that company. But there was a year of developing every single day, eight to 10 hours, code, 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 issue, six hours of code issue, code, 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 a year. It's easy for me to say that. Like you can hear a year, but you can't really quantify it unless you've done a year of coding with no return. The only return being education and understanding how to build scalable architecture within software, which obviously is extremely valuable. But no return in the sense of I'm making $5,000 a month now after three months of learning how to code. I could have easily turned on this camera right now and completely lied to you point blank in your face and just say, no, no, don't worry. Don't, don't worry. Go down this learning curve path. You'll make good money within three months. Could have easily done that. But why? That's dumb. I know a lot of people that choose to do content to try to lie to you and try to sell you dreams. I don't like that. And if you haven't already told, my channel is a lot different than other people within my niche. So if you ever see me doing a video that says top 10 AI tools, here are the top 10 AI tools that's going to make you 40 grand in one month. I'm either a clone or <laughs> something really bad happened. That concludes today's video. Make sure to leave a like if you liked it. If you didn't, my bad. I'll see you in the next video.